All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series model 7548. All right, first thing we're going to use is a JAS or PH1 screwdriver. <clears throat> all right, and we're going to undo all the screws on the bottom. I believe a few of these might stay in place. Let's see. No, actually, they all come out. All right, you want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So I'll go in rows. Usually I'll see three here, three here, and then four down here. <clears throat> so that's how I arrange them. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch, <coughs> excuse me, if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, so we're just gonna get all these screws out. <coughs> Very simple, and the reason why we're opening up this laptop is the customer, um, their charge port's broken. It looks like the bottom screws down here where um, the screen opens uh, actually hold themselves in place. Okay, so usually that's by design so that it creates a little gap here to pop open the cover. All right, so once you undo the screws, you can get in here with a pry tool or your fingernails, and then you can kind of use that to pop this open. I like to pull with my fingernail of my fingers and then push with my thumb here to get the cover to pop open and release from the clips. And then we're going to go around the sides here just like that and it's already out pretty much. So you can see it's like that. Oh, I guess we have to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Same thing. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. We got the bottom cover off. All right? It's pretty clean inside. There's some dust, so I am going to clean it up. You can see there's a two and a half inch SATA uh, hard drive in here. You can upgrade this to a two and a half inch SATA SSD. Um, this is a super thin drive, I believe, so you can't really use the wide, the thicker like 9.5 millimeter ones. But yeah, you got the battery here, uh, D2VF9. If you want to replace it, it has this connector here, which you have to kind of wiggle and pull out like that. Okay, there's not really much area to grab it here, so. All right, I'm sorry, there's some bugs flying in here that I'm smacking them. All right, anyways, so there's like this little tab, fabric tab here that you can use to kind of wiggle and pull on it, um, but you might have to actually take the battery out and then pull it out. There's just a few screws holding it in place. There's a keyboard connector here, keyboard backlight connector here. It's kind of hidden underneath this flap. Uh, bio CMOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just doing this real quick because the customer just needs the charge port replaced. Um, I believe you can replace the RAM from here. They actually show you some pictures here on how you would remove that. It looks like you peel this up. So <clears throat> I'll open it in a bit. You got the wireless card here. Um, <clears throat> wireless card model number is um, wireless AC 3160 model is Where's that? There's a tiny model number here, 3160 NGW. Okay, so there's the model number there. All right, wireless antennas, if you're gonna remove them, you just pull up from the tails from this side. Don't try and pry them out from here. <clears throat> All right, SSD or hard drive. Um, there's four screws holding this thing in place. You can pull, slide that back and then pull it out. Um, and then four screws holding this metal bracket onto the drive that you can swap out. All right, this doesn't have a dedicated GPU fan, only a CPU fan. It is soldered to the motherboard, the CPU, so you can't replace that. All right, you got the speaker connector here. One wire connects to the both speakers, this, and then this wire runs along to the other speaker. Okay, then you got this little um, LED indicator lights connection that goes right there. These have these flip latches to disconnect, and then I believe that's the trackpad cable if I didn't already mention it. Okay, let's see if we can open the RAM connector. So we're going to peel this up. You want to be careful because they put rounded cuts here that will make it um, like lead a tear if you're not careful. Okay, so we're going to peel that up and peel this up carefully, slowly. Okay, there's another kind of pull tab here that you can use to help use that to peel it up. Just like that. Then we can move this out of the way. Here you can see the two sticks around. Pull these two tabs aside. It pops up like that. Then you can slide it out. And here you go. This is PC3L12800S. 
This is a four gig stick. Usually you can put any PC3L 12800S um, as long as that speed matches, you'll probably be okay. Um, so if you want, you can put two eight gig sticks or two 16 gig sticks if you can find them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. DC jack charge port connector is right here. So we're gonna pop this out. It looks very easy to remove. Let me actually zoom in here. So we have the connector here. Make sure you take note of this so you don't put the connector upside down when you replace it. Red ones are going towards the fan, black ones going towards the outside. I use my fingernails at the wings here and I just wiggle the connector like that and there we go. Then we can go ahead and kind of wiggle this out and yeah, it comes out really easily. Um, this charge port looks a little bit different. Hopefully it will fit okay. Um, looks like it fits okay. All right, drops in there like that. You can see they actually put some coating stuff over this so it's a little bit more sturdy. All right, and then same thing, you want the red wires going towards the fan and the black ones going towards the outside. So just line that up. Make sure that you put the connector in straight. If you put it at an angle, you could bend the pins. I've seen some people bring me ones where they broke like that. And there we go, we got that in. So now we should be able to plug this in and it should work just fine. The customer brought me their charger, so let me plug this in and see how it goes. All right. Let's look at this right here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and plug this in and see if we get, all right, charging light. Oops, let me zoom out here, you can't see. So I plugged it in and the charging light is on. I don't know if you can see that. Charging light, there you go, is on. If I unplug it, you can see it turns off. So we should be good to go as far as that goes. Um, before, the customer said the charger was like loose and not really connecting. And here you can see why. See that? It's broken inside, missing the plastic. If you look at the replacement one, you can see inside there's that plastic circle in there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to clean the dust out of here, and then I'll put it back together. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Excuse me. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Again, every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to clean this out. I'll be back. We'll put the screws back in. And yeah. See you guys then. All right, so I'm back, cleaned out the fan, cleaned out the bottom cover, and that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Okay. All right, just go around, clip everything back into place. All right. And then we'll get all the screws back in. And that's pretty much it for this model. Very nice and simple to replace the charge port on. Not like some of the newer ones where they put the hinge on top. Sometimes they'll tuck it underneath the motherboard. I don't know, kind of dumb designs. But anyways, again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. It really does help my channel grow and does help a lot more people. Um, I'm currently, I think, getting about 400,000 views uh, a month or so. Um, but yeah, every little bit helps. Um, and yeah, let's get all these back together and we're good to go. Actually, I'll plug the charger in and leave it plugged in until the customer picks it up. That way they have some battery life in their thing. And that's pretty much it. The light on this model is very dim. It's hard to tell it's charging, but it is lit up. Alright, last couple screws, and we're good to go. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next ones. Drop this spike.